Hey guys, welcome back to another review video. Today we're looking at something I know 99% of Switch owners already know of, and that is the Switch Grip from Satisfy. So like I mentioned, this grip has been out for a while. The model I have here is the Zen Grip Pro, and it was released in 2022, and specifically made to work with the Switch and the Switch OLED. But before this, Satisfy as a company had OG Switch and Switch Lite grips out in circulation. Satisfy pushed advertisements heavily via social media platforms, YouTube being one of the largest. Almost all of the gaming slash Switch content creators I watch made a video on it and well, it worked. The product became popular and me being the target demographic I am, I purchased it. The Switch is a magnet for third party accessories. And even though most of them are trash, some are not. The Switch presents a common but overlooked problem with handheld devices that aren't the most ergonomic to hold, depending on your hand size. If you're playing for an extended period of time, your hands will cramp. This wasn't really an issue when I was a kid with a Game Boy, but that's also because it felt just right in my hands. Maybe even a little big. That, or after years of wear and tear, my hands are just messed up, but let's go with the other reason. Now you'll find a lot of grips online that try to remedy this problem. Most of them introducing a method of adding bumps in the back of the Joy-Con areas to make it more comfortable in your hands to hold. See, the Switch is nice and sleek, but there isn't really an area for your palm like there is for something like an Xbox controller. The most curve you're getting is the size of the Joy-Cons, and that's a sharper curve than the one time I asked a girl to homecoming she act like I didn't say anything. But this grip, am I right? The Zen Grip is a quality product. It's not a cheapo, gummy skin grip that you'll find littered all over Amazon. It is plastic, but it's quality plastic. It has some nice rubber grips on the back, feels firm in the hands, and also has little gel bumps on the inside so that the plastic doesn't scratch the console itself. This feature is slept on because using a product that damages the product it's for is a bad product. Kind of how the Switch dock scratches the Switch screen, you know, not really the best design, but well. You can find the Zen Grip on the Satisfy website or on Amazon for around $40. You can also buy bundles that come with a different colored grip, along with a carrying case that can hold the grip. This runs about $70 to $80 depending on what optional things you add. Me personally, I just need the thing. So I bought the thing to use the thing. 10 out of 10 thing over here. Now what does the Zen Grip do to fix the mentioned issue of crampy and uncomfortable hands? Gives grips and gives them at an offset. The right grip is slightly angled more than the left, and this little bit of angle allows your thumb to naturally sit in between the button and the stick. The left grip allows your thumb to sit comfortably on the stick, but it also makes it so reaching for the directional button doesn't really break your thumb joint. Other than it being more comfortable to hold, the easier access to both set of inputs is awesome. You'll see some gameplay of me playing a 2D game with and without the grip. And if you're like me and you like using the directional buttons for movement, a grip is essential. Would I like an actual D-pad? Yeah, of course, but let's deal with what we got. So 2D side scrolls are made 10 times better, but so are first person games. Because the right grip is now angled, getting to the right thumbstick is made way easier. And I should mention that these angled portions do not make it at all harder to reach the shoulder buttons. Now, as you guys seen from my content thus far, I'm a divvy dabbler in handheld consoling and gaming. If I can get something portable, it's automatically a better version than it was previously. You're listening to the guy who bought Metal Gear Solid 2 on 4 different consoles and then continued to buy it on Vita because it's portable now. The Zen Grip doesn't make the Switch OLED heavy or off balance by adding unproportioned weight, but it does make it a lot bigger in dimensions. Big enough where I can't fit it in my original case to easily take it on the go with me on a trip. What is the solution for this issue? Well, it's to buy a larger case. But now I'm buying another product for a portable console and the overall package isn't really as portable as it could be. I don't know, I'm getting at a problem where I personally don't like the solution. I've traveled with the Zen Grip and that pretty much looked like me putting my Switch in its case then putting both that and the Zen Grip in my backpack. The plastic is tough enough where I wasn't afraid of it breaking in my backpack, but it still wasn't as portable as the console was originally. Oh, and also you can't use the kickstand, but you can stand the grip up on its own, so there's not really a point for that, I don't know why, you know. I guess it's cool. Anyway, my solution for this small inconvenience is that I usually use the grip if I'm playing handheld at home, and then I leave it at home when I take the system out of the house or on a trip. My overall thoughts of this grip is that it's worth the investment if you are primarily a handheld Switch gamer. I think the coolest part of owning a Switch OLED is to, well, play on the OLED screen. My goal is to do that comfortably for long periods of time, and that became possible with the Zen Grip Pro. The price is fair, the quality is great, and the overall user experience of the Switch is improved upon. Do I see it as an absolute necessity? 
Not really, you can get around without having it, but it is something that's very nice to have. Okay guys, that was my quick and very late review of the Satisfy Zen Grip Pro for the Nintendo Switch and the Nintendo Switch OLED. Let me know down below what your thoughts are. Do you think it's a worthwhile investment? Do you have a grip that is cheaper and better? If so, what's the brand? As always, I'm interested in what you guys have to say, and I try to respond to each and every comment, so don't hesitate to let me know. I would appreciate it if you liked the video and sub to the channel. But now that I'm saying it out loud, I'm reminded that you don't have to because I don't actually control you. Cool, bye.